I had a daydream at work. I think it was worth it. With so much going on with this earth, the weight of the world and all its girth, the spare closing in like a shirt, I think this mental swerve was perfect. See, I was giving words out on a nearby corner, pouring out everything inside of me just like a donor, trying to verbally paint a 16 Picasso or at least Simona. See, I just wanted to give hope. And it was my daydream, so best believe it was dope. And I had like a generation stopping by my post for the quotes given. God the will, God's will as I spoke and I saw spirits receive. And I admit it was brief, but it seemed to hit for the grieving kids and those needing it. So I, I breathed it in. And I shouted, you going to get this hope? That's when the brother from the front spoke. It looked like we had the same mother though, but like if I had siblings, he legit would have had my brother's nose, but his eyes told me he was no kid of mine. He threw Skittles and a toy gun at my feet. An aspirator spray painted, I can't breathe. A football, bank statements, and some unwashed sheets in a pocket atlas that cracked as soon as it hit the street. He said, you gonna get this whole pot? Because I didn't hear anything about hope when I was trying to find out how I got this broke. You see what's going on out here. I'm drowning in the pain they say I'm supposed to be okay with. And I'm supposed to trust my president to change it, but I'm not rich and I can't change skin. So since hope comes with a passport I don't qualify for and a cost I can't afford, how can I claim it? You tell me why I should have hope. And as he spoke, I saw an anger in him that I had in myself. A pain that went unfelt, the need to understand that someone will both understand and actually help. And it was then that I noticed the shirt, a bloody hole where the heart was with a growing stain. Emotions on the sleeve next to the pain. Words on the front in the frame saying, don't you tell me how to grieve. But the look in his eyes said, I need help. So I hugged him. I told him I didn't know him, but I genuinely loved him. And I'm not always healthy enough mentally to listen to your soul, but my soul's been getting bad lately, so lean on me. I told him your voice is as loud as mine is. Your story, timeless. Your destiny, only as free as your mind is. You are not your circumstances. You're the moment when you're all that's left standing. You're the camera taking pictures of what your life could be. So what do you choose to see? There's a lot of hurt there. So much grief and pain, I see it. But notice, because in my 